sunny, vibrant, joyful. Typically an image of sunflowers elicits only happiness and a sense of nature's beauty. With Asher's sunflowers, however, as with all of his post-World War II flower paintings, such beauty is tempered by a slightly sinister or menacing overtone. Following the Shoah, figuration almost completely disappeared from Asher's artistic production. Yet, in his turn to the natural world, Asher remained committed to anthropomorphism. Trees and flowers took on the appearance of human bodies. In this image, the sunflowers crowd the foreground, their vibrant orange centers, as if multi-generational human faces crowding together for a family photograph, perhaps one not unlike the surviving family photograph of Asher's own family, gathered together for one of the last times in celebration of his sister's marriage. What could on the one hand be interpreted as a gesture of resilience, Asher turning to beautiful surroundings following his confinement and persecution, could also be a statement of the lingering effects of trauma. Incapable of coming to terms with humanity after witnessing the brutality of the Nazi regime, Asher's connection to the human world became necessarily sublimated into these humanoid natural wonders. <laughs>